Good morning. So I am actually stuck at home at the moment. There's a storm going through the UK right now. Uh, my trains are getting canceled all morning long. Doesn't look like I'm going to make it to work at this point. So uh, I thought I would take this opportunity to do a review of my viola. So I play on the Ita Music 15.75 inch viola. Uh, that's it right here. This is the Guadagnini model. Um, one thing I really like about this viola is that the string length is a lot shorter than you would get from a Stradivarius model, um, even a smaller Stradivarius model. So it's a lot easier to play if you're trying to stretch your fingers out. Um, the whole instrument is incredibly light, like incredibly light compared to anything you can get for this price range. I paid about 300 US dollars, uh, including shipping, um, and it came within a week from China to the UK, so that was quite impressive. Um, I'm pretty happy with it overall. Sound-wise, it's not going to compare to something that's a couple thousand dollars that you can get in stores, but anything that's 2000 and under that I've tried so far does not compare to this. Um, in general, cheaper violas tend to be heavier. Um, they're quite rough looking, it doesn't look like they're actually handmade, uh, whereas this thing is actually quite well done. Um, you can tell that they made a good effort with the antiquing, um, even though it looks like they just put some pen marks here and there instead of actually trying to distress. Um, Sound-wise, it's a little bit soprano, uh, a little bit violin-like, but I think uh, a big part of that is just that it's so much smaller and the string length is smaller as well compared to the Stradivarius model. Um, it's a good instrument to start out with. I would highly recommend it over um, a typical beginner instrument. Um, <clears throat> only issue with these instruments for me would be their playability immediately when they get shipped over. You do have to take it to a luthier to get it looked at. Um, the pegs were not working when I got this, to be honest. Um, half of them were slipping, half of them wouldn't turn at all. Um, the strings are terrible, so you do have to get them replaced, and it doesn't come with fine tuners, so you'll have to get um, a new tailpiece that comes with them, or just get uh, fine tuners on their own. Um, but it does come with a case that's a little bit flimsy, but it works and it's quite lightweight. Um, and I got it off the auctions, so I didn't get a bowl with it. Um, but you can purchase a bowl from Ida Music for a really reasonable price as well. dynamics from this viola. I haven't been able to find anything like that um, within this price range at all in stores. 
Um, however, it is a harsher sound than you, what you would get from a much more expensive, more professional viola, where you get that deep, velvety sound. So your mileage may vary. Um, the luthier did do a lot of tinkering with the sound post, um, adjusting the bridge, um, even sanding down a bit of the fingerboard as it was a little bit too high. So there are a lot of adjustments that can be done to it, but um, again, those are extra that you're paying on top of the basic viola. Um, the end result is still worth a lot, a lot more than what you would pay for typically. Um, but it is a big hassle if you're not into um, getting something out of the box and then having to tinker with it. So if you've made it this far, um, I have something creepy to tell you about this specific viola. Uh, my boyfriend actually noticed this first. It was a couple months after I started owning it. Um, he looked at it one day and said there's a marking on it that looked a little bit like Chinese and asked me if I would recognize it. So uh, I took a closer look. It's just right here near the tailpiece, a really, really tiny scribble. So after I took a closer look, I'm like, that's my last name. What the heck? Why is my last name? scribbled on this viola what is going on um i tried emailing Ita music to see if they had an answer and they decided not to reply to me <laughs> um the creepy thing was i um went online and tried to find other people that had Ita music violas and asked if they had a similar experience um and there was someone that owned i think eight of these or something and he said that none of his had any sort of markings on his viola so who knows? Maybe it's fate that this one belongs to me, you know, maybe it's meant to be. Anyways, uh, thank you for watching and I'll talk to you next time.